Hi, in this video I'll talk about the Select by Color tool and the options for this tool are identical with the Fuzzy Select tool which I talked about in the previous video. So I'm not going to discuss the options again. If you missed the previous video I'm going to include the link in the description. The only difference between these two tools is that with the Fuzzy Select tool we select a contiguous region on the basis of color and with the Select by Color tool we select regions with similar colors and let's demonstrate this real quick. I'm going to grab the Fuzzy Select tool, click here and you see that I've selected the white background but I haven't selected these white areas over here and here. But with the Select by Color tool if I click you'll see that also I select these regions. We can also select only the text real quick. I'm going to adjust the threshold to 140 and then click over here and you see that I have selected only the text without the background. Now let's see how we can change the background of this text to black for example. I'm going to reset the two options from here. So with the default options I'm going to click over here to select the white background. Holding down the control key and turning the mouse wheel I'm going to zoom in and you see over here that we haven't managed to select these pixels and uh, if I fill with the black color right now let's do this real quick edit fill with foreground color which is black you see that we get these uh, white outlines around the text and this doesn't look very good so I'm going to undo this with control Z in the previous video I mentioned that uh, the fuzzy select tool and also the select by color tool I often use in combination with the select options here feather shrink grow in order to achieve good results so in this case I want to grow the selection so I'm going to select this option and I'm going to grow it by two pixels click OK you see how this affected the selection now I'll go to the select menu again choose the feather option I'm going to feather with just two pixels again and what this will do is that on the border of the selection the effect will be applied only partially so if we fill with the foreground color which is black right now you see that we have a smooth transition between the background black and the color of the text let's go to the select menu none zoom out and you see we managed to replace the white background with black and get a pretty decent result so you see how useful this tool can be and if the video was helpful, subscribe for more, visit my channel, like the video, leave me a comment. That's it for this one.